people on the internet will show you their pretty dashboard and that's okay if you have one pretty dashboard which can be quite minimal presence temperature humidity everything that's happening regarding the ac or radiator inside the house and conditional alerts that will display only if certain values are true or off or above or below certain levels but you need absolutely a second dashboard that no one basically shows you which is one that's going to be ugly as hell but you absolutely need it which will prevent you from going into the horrendous integrations tab and scrolling through all your entities when something is wrong with your smart home this dashboard has to be super technical with only raw values of things that you need in your house for your automations or anything that you may judge important so here is what i've put in my ugly dash first of all we have all of the batteries of the sensor this is something very important you absolutely need to list all of your batteries that are within your smart home you can create alerts but it's always good to have a list of all the batteries that you have i have categorized them with sensor batteries device batteries actuator batteries then we have the modes pretty cool if you have different modes that help you trigger or not certain automations for example we have a guest room for someone that could sleep in the living room that wouldn't trigger all of the lights of course when he moves within the living room at night the summer versus winter mode this one for me is crucial who's at home trackers for the people that are residents of this apartment but after that you have the activities this is the only thing that isn't raw i infer activities based on raw data from sensors for example if i have certain apps that are open on my computer the working thing will be toggled and then i could use it for certain automations if working mode is enabled then do this and do that same thing for showering watching tv and so on then we have some other helpers toggles for example here i have a kitchen usb switch camera which gives electricity to the camera when no one is on i'm pretty paranoid about cameras so i don't have them on when i'm here and to make sure that they are correctly turned off i hook them up to a smart switch then you absolutely need to make a list of the crucial automations that you have so you can absolutely disable them when you want normally this isn't elegant meaning that you should always have properly built automations that don't fire when you don't need them to but there are always some exceptions so it's pretty good to have a list of all the automations that you have so that you can toggle them off or on then here we have the device that i'm running home assistant on it's an ass so it's pretty cool to actually have a few metrics so that you know if home assistant isn't running correctly it may be because of abnormal values here i have some buttons that i will avoid touching which is shutting down and reboot the nas finally i have the adaptive lightning gear an absolute must if you have a smart home with smart bulbs which is gonna adjust automatically all of your lights following the position of the sun i made countless video about it so don't know that adaptive lightning if you didn't so that's basically it i really wanted to show you this uh, kind of hidden side of home, home assistant of course smart home isn't perfect things are going to go wrong and you need to kind of build some easy to use tools that will help you debug and i'm telling you i rarely check out this dashboard but it's so useful to have it when something isn't going right